loves and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Sonia G Sky, well I don't want to say face set because I didn't get two of them. I do not like fan brushes and I really don't like soft cheek brushes. So I skipped out on those and I picked up these three. So this is the Master Face. And as you can see, it is a completely round brush and round ferrule. This is dyed goat and undyed goat. The next is the classic cheek, and this is undyed goat. And this is the mini cheek brush, and this is dyed goat and undyed goat hair. So, I guess we'll start, well, I guess we'll start with the master face. When the only thing that I can say about the master face is that here, you can see the, they're all made, handmade, as with all Sonya G's, handmade in Japan. Um, by Japanese artisans and the handles are maple wood and they're all beautiful. They're very beautifully handcrafted. This one, I don't, I only have one brush and this is actually what I thought was going to be this. So I have an older Chanel brush and as you can see, this is very, very old. This is probably between 15 and 20 years old. I don't use this anymore for obvious reasons. It's had its lifespan, but I'm keeping it for purposes of, um, you know, reference. So I was actually looking for a brush like this, and I thought this was going to be it. But as you can see, the size is very, very different. <laughs> so it's okay. But this is... Um, a completely round ferrule, round everything, domed, good for buffing, and uh, it says it's good for bronzer. This is the classic cheek. The classic cheek was not quite what I thought it was going to be. When I think of classic cheek, I'm going to pull um, one out. This is the Hakuhodo S110. And as you can see, the Hakuhodo S110 is a lot smaller. I mean, this one's bigger and this one's smaller. And I thought it was going to be more like this. So when this came, I was like, oh, this wasn't quite what I was thinking it was going to be. But I actually really like this. It took me like a couple of days to be like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like this. But I really ended up loving um, this brush despite the fact that it was what I would not consider a classic cheek brush. This is not a classic cheek brush. This has a more, you can see it up close. It feels like this is more, the, this one is more pinched than this. I mean, this is definitely not a round ferrule, but it's not also a completely pinched ferrule either. Um, here's another one. This is the Wayne Goss 11. I love this brush so much, especially for hourglass brushes that are very, very soft. And if you use a more dense brush, you'll get powder everywhere. So this is why it's dirty. So I'm sorry. Um, and as you can see, the Wayne Goss is a lot bigger. So when I think of classic cheek, I really do think of like the Wayne Goss and Hakuhodo and, you know, size brushes like that. Um, another size comparison would be the Sonia G uh, Designer Pro. And this is a little bit more splayed out. And this is um, a little bit smaller. It looks like that this is just a little bit taller. I can't, it's hard to tell in the, because they, they're both, no, they're about the same height. I think they're 33, in, uh, 33 millimeters. And obviously this is more dense. Uh, let's see, another one would be the Cheek Pro. And this one's a little bit taller. And this one's a little bit wider. So this, yeah, this is a little bit bigger. 
So for comparison's sake, and obviously this is completely dyed and this is undyed. The next brush I wanna talk about is the Mini Cheek, which is basically, I bought it as a highlighter brush. I have a highlighter brush that I absolutely love. I have three of them. It's the Anastasia, Anastasia A23 brush, and this is what it's most comparable to. I, I don't have another brush really like this, either of these. So this has been my favorite highlighter brush. This, I, this was everything I hoped for and more. When I saw this, I thought to myself, this, the, the, uh, the Sonia G was what the Anastasia, what I'd hoped for the Anastasia would be. It would, it was just like the Rolls Royce of brushes it, for highlighter because it's got the beautiful handle and then it's got the really nice goat hair. Whether it's dyed or undyed, it doesn't really matter to me. I prefer undyed goat hair, but um, it, it, it doesn't matter. And so I, I, I still love this brush, but this is the nicer version of it. And I am so excited. I'm gonna buy more of, of this brush. The only brush I have to say that I don't particularly like is this one. Um, the hairs have been shedding a lot and it's very prickly. So I got this to kind of buff in um, powder to, to do like all over my face for setting. And when I put it on, it was very prickly, more prickly than I thought it was gonna be. And I really don't recommend this brush at all. I don't like it. I, I wish it was just a little bit bigger and I wish that it wasn't so prickly. It really pricked my face every time I try to use it on my cheeks and so I don't like this brush and the shedding has been unbelievable. I can't believe the shedding on this. So and I'll just do this so you can see how it, it's very, very soft. And then of course, this has to be my favorite one of all. And this is the Sonia G Sky brushes. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.